we're going to take a little road trip. It's very cold out here and it does look a little pretty, but it's very cold. You know what? Why don't I show you? It is really cold. Ah. Hurts to work the camera, my fingers are so cold. <laughs> it is very, very cold. I think, uh, think Dad's gonna drive. Hi, this is Steve Barton. Uh, this is a new friend of mine, Mike Ballette from Top Line Engineering. We'll put a, a, a little thing at the bottom of the picture here on their website if you want to check them out. Uh, we're uh, working with them, trying to help them out. Uh, uh, maybe that some of you guys on the Instagram saw this little tool I made. Uh, what this is going to be used for is finding the center line of uh, their tools and their lathe. They have a Tormac CNC lathe with a turret. And uh, so we establish from the bottom here to the top here the exact center line. And we have it so you can take this screw, loosen it up, turn it, uh, rotate it 180 degrees, and then if your tools are mounted upside down, right side up, you've got one edge that will work for the one and the other edge that will work for the other. And so what we're going to do is we're going to let Mike take over. Uh, we get things set up and he's going to show you how we use this tool. One of the things that we need to do yet is make a little clamp because we're working in a slant bed lathe. And so he'll be working on a clamp with this hole so that it gives him hand-free operation. So now it's going to be a little bit awkward, but I'm going to turn this over to Mike. And, right, then, uh, and then Adam's going to get in my position and give you a better view and then I'll let you guys go at it. All right, yeah, so what Steve showed me here is, you know, you want to make sure this is nice and clean. Get everything off there. And then for now, until I get a clamp in here, I just got magnets kind of helping me hold this in place here. Uh, but then what you want to do, get it close to your, your tool that you're measuring. And then I'll jog this in. And then I'll find zero underneath here while holding this in place. Let's see here. And there we go. So we got zero. So that's the indicator is now at the center line of my spindle. So we'll back off here. And then slowly approach the tip of my tool here. Now the indicator is moving, so I got to find the high spot. Oh. So it looks like it's right at five. And then I'll move Z, and bring it in, and find another high spot. So it looks to be right about there. And now we're going back in X to find, make sure. We got the very tip of the tool here. Okay. And then double check the Z. Alright, and then there you have it. So, based on this reading, we are out one thousand. Uh, one thousand. Yep. So yeah. this this tool is good to go. Um it's um when I get to uh, other jobs and I get different tool holders, I'm going to have to double check them all. But yeah, that's the idea. So Steve, um, I reached out to Steve here he was, um, to help me out with some hard turning. So this is where kind of this whole project spawned. Um, 
was, you know, I, a customer of ours, uh, wants these tiny little pins. I don't know if you can see them here. These tiny little pins, they got to be hard turned out of, um, I believe it's, it's M4 steel, which is some really tough stuff. I believe it's uh, 65 Rockwell. Um, so me being new in the uh, CNC lathe um, area, I really scratched my head on what to do here. So um, found found Steve, um, and Steve was more than willing to help out. Um, so he made us the... Uh, so one of the important things was to make sure my tools are on center, which I had no idea if they were or not. So he made me um, the gauge, a nice little gauge there, so I can start measuring my tools, make sure they're on center, because um, that's going to be very important with uh, my CVN inserts um, when we get to actually hard turning this. Um, I got some tools coming in from uh, my supplier, um, and once I get those, we'll get them mounted up in the turret here. Uh, we'll get the, make sure they're on center. Um, and then from there, we'll just you know dial it in with speeds and speeds, um, and then we'll hopefully get some video of it and um, do a little hard turn in here on this little Tormach. So cool. Well, this is a nice little tool. You can make these uh, with different heights if you got multiple tools. Uh, you can make these uh, for different lathes. Uh, works nice if your saddle's flat. It's a little bit less working here. We have to make the clamp. It'll work again by just rotating at 180 degrees, your tools that are right side up, upside down, uh, and it's just a nice fast way of verifying the center of your uh, spindle with your tool over here. In this case, he was a thousand soft, if we wanted to put that perfect center, you'd have to have a thousand shim, we'd have to add on it, and, uh, but that's the end of it. Uh, you guys, be sure to check out uh, Mike's website there. You can see what they're about. There's a little two-man shop here in Holland, Michigan. And uh, so that's it. We'll see you next time.